All right, this video is going to be more of a serious discussion. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start it off with those stupid lines I've normally been doing. All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Taking a different turn. In this video, not in my channel, don't panic. I'm not turning this into like a sewing channel or anything. But this is something that I've, I've talked about with my friends. I've talked about it with just people online. And I feel like I do have a lot to offer in this regard. Um, and I feel like it's something that plagues uh, a lot of young men. I can't really speak on the dangers, what it does to young women simply because I'm not one. It's about porn consumption. And I feel like it's it's become too accessible for young men specifically. Um, so the reason I feel like I'm an authority to talk about it is because I am a porn addict. Um, the reason I say I am currently is because I've really accepted this from the fact that when people are alcoholics, they don't say I'm a former alcoholic or say they're addicted to cigarettes. They kind of just say you're never truly a former addict. You're just in between smokes or in between drinks and you have to make sure you're lengthening that time as much as possible before you rehab. So that's why I have phrased the term I am a porn addict as opposed to I used to be one because once, once you are an addict, to anything, you're, you're one forever. You're always fighting those quote unquote demons. I don't wanna make it seem like I've been through something horrible, but yeah, that's what it is. If you, if you cannot stop doing something, then yes, you are an addict. If you can't stop consuming junk food, you're addicted to it. If you can't stop smoking, you're addicted to it. If you can't stop watching a certain television show or, or scrolling on social media, you are addicted to it. So I feel like this kind of goes in line with my channel. It's about health, fitness, stronger, self-improvement, stuff like that. So I feel like I'm not going completely left field on my channel's niche, but I feel like I do have something to offer in this regard. So let's talk about issue number one. It's, it's the perception of sexuality. Now, as I mentioned in another video, I lost my virginity quite late, I guess, compared to most people. And I do think there was a reason for that. It was it was pornography. So porn can heavily distort your just ability to talk to the opposite sex. You think everything is hypersexualized and in today's society it basically is. But that's not a normal male-female relationship. It just isn't. No matter how much someone wants to go blue in the face and tell you it is, it is not. This then creates unrealistic expectations of what you should be doing. For example, if you are 25 years old, you should not have slept with 100 people by that time, male or female. That's absolutely ridiculous. You are wasting your sexual energy with people that you, you should not even be associating with. That is just not how we should be operating. And people should not be bragging about it either. Why does this happen? Because of pornography. Like, for example, I think I first came across internet porn. It must have been either 13 or 14 years old. And once you see it, it's like, oh, this, this makes me excited. I like how this makes me feel. You, you jerk off to it, whatever. You get uh, an explosion of dopamine in your brain. And then you have this crash. And what happens is you've literally been addicted to a drug. You've been able to give yourself this dopamine response. And then whenever you're feeling down, depressed, sad, you know that just on the other end of those key that on that keyboard and that screen, that you can easily give yourself the pick me up that you need. So in a way, it is a drug. And that is honestly why computers have like parental passwords and shit like that. Like kids nowadays that have phones at like 13, 14, whatever years old and iPads and if they're not unrestricted to their access to the internet, they can go down an endless rabbit hole and see anything that they want, literally anything, which is very harmful. Then you end up being desensitized to it. The first time I noticed this was when I did start being like sexually active with real life women that I was like, why am I not able to maintain an erection as long as I want? Now, I'm not saying it disappeared after two minutes, but in my head, I wanted to go for like, let's say X amount of time, an hour or whatever. I'm not bragging, but when you're a young man, you wanna fucking have sex all day, right? But uh, I'm like, why am I not able to? And a big problem I've read up on is that 
more and more younger men are developing erectile dysfunction. Why? Pounding their meat to, to porn all day. And when I say all day, some people's reality can be all day, five, six, seven times a day. Imagine taking a hit of heroin five, six, seven times a day. You're gonna be desensitized to life. Then there's the impact on mental health. Now I don't care what anyone says, if you've been addicted to anything, you've thought about killing yourself before. End of story. There's no way. There's no way you haven't because you're constantly taking your brain through these highs and lows. So if you've ever looked at a website, Pornhub, all these tube sites, whatever you want to call them, you've had a thought about what it would be to die. I have. Everyone has. There's, there's no way you haven't because you're constantly feeding yourself this garbage over and over and over again. And then you desensitize yourself from real human relationships. It's impossible not to. So everyone wants to talk about mental health, this, mental health, that. No one ever looks at the root of the problem. They just say, oh, you know what? It's important to take care of your mental health. Yeah, yeah. It's important. Take care, buddy. Like, it's bullshit. We never look at the root cause. Now, you can also, like I said, real life relationships. The actor Terry Crews has talked about this, that it almost ruined his marriage. And I could easily believe that because any type of addiction can ruin your life. Even Larry Wheels, who's another fitness Person. I'm sure I don't need to introduce Larry Wheels to anyone. He's talking about how he was addicted to cam girls at one point. And that's very similar. That's in the same sexual, digital sexual realm, let's say. Because in this day and age, you don't have to go to a store to get porn. This is not the 70s and 80s. You don't need to rent out videos. You don't need to go to a strip club. Why? Just type in whatever woman you're attractive to on any of the websites and boom. You're, but the worst part is you're watching another man have sex with a woman that's your type. But what's even worse is you're not even watching them. You are getting sexually excited to pixels on a screen. When you phrase it that way, it's pretty disturbing. Someone gave me this advice one time on how to stop watching porn is imagine that the video you're watching and you're sitting there like jerking off. Imagine you're right next to those people having sex. Would you still be jerking off or would you feel shamed? Be honest. And you know what? I'll be perfectly honest. There's probably like 10% of people watching this right now that said, yeah, I'd probably still be jerking off. Maybe not watching this because I trust my subscribers are <laughs> intelligent people, but there are probably some people in the world that would say that because they're just so far gone at this point. So I urge everyone, especially the young ones, to complete cold turkey stop watching pornography. It will be one of the best decisions you've ever made. Your mental health will be better. If you have a wife or girlfriend, your relationship will be better. It is a hundred times more enjoyable to have sex with someone that you have an emotional connection with than just some random woman you happen to pick up at the bar. And don't get me wrong, I've had my fair share of flings and it was fairly enjoyable sex, but once it's done, it's done. My sex life now that I'm in a committed relationship for X amount of years, far better than when I was single. That's all I'm gonna say. I know this video kind of came out of nowhere. It doesn't really fit the theme with the rest of my videos, but I think it's a pretty important topic to think of. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.